Brown of North Hempstead Supervisor Judy Bosworth. In the interest of keeping our senior population safe, we have partnered with our Project Independence Fitness Instructors to provide virtual classes. This way, you can still get the exercise you're used to from the safety of your home. Please enjoy. Welcome to our Tai Chi practice. We'll begin separating our feet, our shoulders width, head to ceiling, opening up our neck, drop our shoulders, drop our tensions, so we're going through our adjustments consciously, deliberately. Tuck our pelvis in, so we're pointing the tailbone down, knees slightly bent, so we're settled. So body's open straight but settled down into floor. Breathing in through our nose, out through our nose. Breathe in, nice and soft. Exhale, just as soft. One more time, inhale, and release. Turn our palms up, breathe in, up towards our forehead, Exhale, washing now, top to bottom. Breathe in, bring to body, release, bring down the body. So bring the palms down the body, bring our mind down the body. Inhale, so bring your attention from top all the way down to bottom. Now drop our chin. Look up, slowly look up, loosening our neck. Look down. Again, look up. And come back to our center. Look to your right and to your left. Again, look right, back and forth. Look to our left, back to center. Lay our head down towards each shoulder. Keep the rest of our body straight. So we're moving just above the shoulders. So our circles above the shoulders. So nice and small circle. So no rush, no force. Reverse. So don't exaggerate the size of our movement. Don't speed up the movement. So control your movements. Come back to our center. Keep our shoulders back. Point our chin forward and release. Open our neck a little bit. Pull away, point again, and release. So moving down the body, rolling our shoulders up and forward. So we're moving down, this is for our back. Reverse, so circles back, pulling back, up and back. So roll, adding our weights, moving down, rolling forward. Maintaining our posture, so as always, posture is number one. Head to ceiling, spine straight, number one. Reverse, roll back, so pulling away, still maintain our posture. Slow down, so moving to our lower back. Massage the back, heat to back, and tap the back, so stimulate the body around to our hips. We're gonna tap down our legs towards our knees. So outside legs, inside up. Outside, down the legs. Inside, up the legs. Outside, down, again. Inside up. 
hands to our hips, circle our hips over our feet. So keeping the back straight or spine straight, so back is flat. So keep the back intact as we circle the hips. We want to focus on the hips and reverse. So hips over our feet, not rolling the spine or not rolling the hips. That's a different exercise. So keep the back flat as we move. Slow down the hips, drop the arms and our twists. Body turns, our arm follow. So let the arms swing, tap the body. So again, this tapping of the body is part of our exercise, warming up the body, stimulating body. This is, this is part of our massage. Adding our legs, shift our weight, use our legs. So legs to hips, hips to arms, arms tapping body. So moving from the ground up or incorporating every part of our body so our whole body is involved so our breathing is still soft in through nose out through nose as long as we can now we'll slow down our legs then our hips then the arms bring our feet closer so slight bend in our knees very small circles so be careful with our knees only bend a little bit, no matter what it is we're doing. And reverse. Circle the other way. Just a few. And up. Separate our feet again. Right foot, 45 degrees. Shift to our right. And settle. Left heel to toe. Touch heel and toe. Again, point and circle. So head points up, toes point down, and reverse, circling both ways. Right, our weight's being supported by our back leg. Switch. So we're setting up our back leg, left foot 45 degrees, that's our stationary leg. Sitting back, touching our front heel to toe. So heel, toe, point and circle so again heads always leading body so control over our structure reverse circle the other way sitting back loosening front and close back to our middle to our wrists scooping in dropping our shoulders bending our elbows so i always repeat these mechanics these basics so uh, these things uh, keep this art healthy. This is what makes this art so healthy and beneficial. Reverse, brushing out, back of hands. So open the fingers as we circle. Inside, outside, palm of hand, back of hand. Again, open the fingers. We can even think of fanning the fingers. Fanning the fingers a little bit. And Palms up to our elbows, bending in, pointing down. Bend inside, down center. Again, bend and open. Reverse, pulling up, bend and open. Pull up, open forward. Again, pull and open. To our shoulders, touching our right shoulder. Circles up, turning out to your right and down. Turning the hips again, body turn and lower. Circle top to bottom. Reverse, sweep back, up to front. Again, pull back, bring forward, pull back to corner and front. Switching our sides to our left shoulder, circles to our left, top to bottom. Again, turn the body, bring the shoulder. Don't raise the shoulder, but bring the shoulder. Reverse, bottom, up to top. Sweep back, to front. Again, pass the body, in front of body, and drop our hands, and down. 
Stretching body, stretching up. Inhale, expand the body. Exhale, really. Breathe in, filling up. And release. Again, breathe in, expand or lengthen. And release. Left palm, we're gonna push up to ceiling. Right palm down to floor. Inhale, push apart. Exhale, release. Breathe in and push. Now, as we release, we're gonna sink down a little bit. So now adding our legs. Legs sink down as we switch the arms. Push the body up with legs as we stretch. Sink down as we switch. Push up as we stretch and out. Again, inhale, stretch up. Exhale, sink down. Breathe in, stretch up. Exhale, back to middle and lower. Palms in front of our waist. Turn towards our right side or corner. Turn to our left, keeping our shoulders down, palms around a hip height. Turning right to corner or side, left to corner or side. Back to middle, keeping our shoulders down. We're gonna raise the arms higher around chest height, rib cage height. Turn to our right, again to side. Turn to our left, to side. Turn right, and turn left. Come back to our middle, palms facing, so our spinal twist. Right side, reach forward, extend. Left side, reach forward, so reaching out towards me. Reach your right, reach your left. Again, your right side, your left. Now crossing the body, reach across to corner. Across to corner, reaching left, reaching right, out left, out right, back to middle. Now, separating our feet wider than our body's width, sitting back, and legs involved, sitting down, right hand by our waist, left hand by our forehead, stretching our side, shifting left. Circle over to our left. Shift right. Reach for our corner. Circles left. Shift and reach or point. So fingers lead the stretch. Lead the arm. Point to corner. Again. Point to corner. Come back to middle. Now we're going to sit back a little bit further. Resting our hands on our thighs or resting the body into those hands, into the arms, into our legs. Keeping the back straight or flat. So not tilting forward where we're parallel with the floor, just enough where we're over our hands or over our legs, our thighs. So without letting our legs move. So just, it's a short movement. We're pushing the upper half of our body off from our legs just side to side nice and easy so not big not a big movement not too large of a movement but, but don't pull the shoulders back just bend the elbows and push side to side nice and easy so taking pressure off the lower back we're going to come back to our center or middle using our legs push the body up so while we're here, while our feet are apart, we're gonna to shift to our right a little bit. So right leg is carrying much more weight than the left. Shift to our left a little bit, carrying more weight. Shift right, shift left. To our right, to our left. Go side to side, sitting on a bench, sliding. Along that bench, slide left, slide right, left, right. Now come back to our middle. So if we're sitting in the middle, this is called 
horse stance, like we're riding a horse. This is a pretty big horse. So this is a horse stance, riding on a horse. So if we shift slightly to our right, this is called half horse. So if we're just on half the side. Shift slightly left, keeping both knees bent. This is half horse. So in the middle, horse stance. To the right, half horse. Middle, horse stance. Left, half horse. Come back to middle, so good for our legs, but don't do that too much. Pushing up. And come back to our shoulders width distance. Shoulders width distance. Okay? So starting just legs and arms pushing up or pulling down. So sitting back. Inhale. So push the body up. Arms follow. Exhale. Sit back. And settle or pushing down. Breathe in and up. Exhale. Back and down. Breathe in. So up and forward. Arms swing forward. Exhale back. Breathe in. And down. Inhale again. And release. So from here, we're going to turn our palms to our right. To our left. So turning our wrist. Not by lifting the shoulder or the elbow. Turn our wrists. Turn our wrists. Right. Left. Adding our weights. Twist right. Turn our wrists. Twist left. Turn our wrists. Right. Think pushing something right. Pushing something left. Twist right. Push right. Or pull left, depending on our intent. Both turning our waist, but turning our wrists. Turn left. Palms face left. Turn right. Face right. We're going to shift left and turn. Shift right. Turning our waist. Turning our wrists. Left to side. Right to side. Push left. Again, palms out. To our right. Good. Now we're going to push all the way to our left. Feet together. Now stepping side to side. Right side. All the way to our right. Feet together. Stepping to our side. Turning left. Together. Right. Together. Left. Both arms still up. To right. Now we're going to step to our left corner. As we shift forward, we're going to circle down. Pushing over our knees. So in the direction of our knee, but we're still turning our wrists. Still turning our palms out from you. Turn the palms. Out right. Turn the body. Down left. Palms up. Up right. Down left. So bend the elbows. Drop the hands. Bend the elbows. Drop the hands. So back together. Keeping up both arms up to our side. Left together. Step to our right corner. Dropping our hands down. Pushing over our knee or towards our knee. Up, turn the palms. Down, turn the palms. Back, left. Forward, right, forward. So pushing or pulling back, pushing forward. Forward, right. Back, left. Right, left. Now we're going to shift forward together. Lifting up towards our corner. Step to our left corner. Pushing forward, down, up right, down left, again, top to bottom. One more time, back, we're going to shift forward together, lifting up, step to our right corner, pushing down, pull back and turn, forward and turn, back. And forward. Now we're going to pull back together, keeping our hands up, 
as we step back to our right, pulling right, together. Step back to our left, pulling left. Now step into our side, right again. So one more time, forward and back. Step to our left corner, pushing forward and back. Forward and bottom to top. Shift all the way forward, lifting up. Step to our right corner, pushing down. Still maintaining our posture as we shift and turn. So back all the way forward and up. Step to our left corner, forward and down. Back and forward. Now shifting all the way back together, keeping our hands up. Step back to our left, hands up together. Back to our right, hands up together. And back to our middle, shoulders width distance. Okay, so palms up. We're gonna bend from our elbows, bending in as if we're gonna wipe our face or our cheeks without touching. So go towards our face. Think pulling down a wiping face or pulling down a long beard. Circle, bend the elbows up towards our cheeks and pull down. Inhale, bend. Exhale and pull. Breathe in and up. Out and down. We're going to add our hips, our weights. So circling up towards our face. If we turn to our right, pull down towards our right leg. So in line with our body. Our body is our guide or our range. Circle up in our middle. Pulling down towards our left side or leg. Circling up in our middle, down to our right. Inhale up our middle, exhale down to our left. Breathe in, exhale, pulling down. Inhale up, exhale down. We're going to add our feet just side to side. Now from our middle, inhale, shift all the way right. Pull down. So our left leg is carrying some weight, but most of our weight is in this right leg, stationary leg. Back to our middle. Inhale in our middle. Exhale down to our left. But so we can, uh, if we can, we're going to pick up our heel. So we know only partial weight is in this right leg, this uh, side leg. To our middle. Inhale. Exhale. Down. Breathe in, in middle, exhale, and down. So one more time, we're going to walk this way, breathing in and up, exhale down. So while we're facing our right corner already, we're going to circle from our right, step to our left, pull, down to our left. While we're facing our left corner, circle left, to our right, pulling down to our right. Breathing in, stepping left, pulling down. Okay. So just drop our hands, stepping back together towards our corners. Back left to corner, back right to corner, to our middle. Okay. One more time, we'll start the opposite side. So circling up. So, shifting to our right, pulling down, stepping to our left corner, shifting left, pulling down, to our right corner, circle up, pull, to our left corner, circle up, pulling down, drop our hands, back, together. Back left, together, back right, together. So working both sides of body and settle. Okay, so we're going to add to this movement. So palms facing to start. 
So imagine we're holding a ball in between our palms. So if we roll this ball, so for now our palms are both attached to this ball. So we're holding something where the palm, where one palm goes, the other palm mirrors, holding something. Don't drop what we have, okay? So this is getting our, our both hands and wrists to move at the same time, moving together. So if we close our right hand, not squeezing, just curl the fingers, close. So now think of this as the ball, right fist as our ball, cover the ball, reveal the ball. Cover or hide, reveal. So both palms are still moving, both wrists are still moving. Just one hand is open, one hand is closed. One up, one down, back to our middle. Closing our left hand, so left hand becomes that ball. Hide the ball, reveal the ball. Cover, reveal. Under, over, bottom, top. So again, both arms move. So one hand moves, both arms move. In and up. Sort of like our wrist exercise. Similar. Okay. Come back to our middle. So we'll practice before we add our legs. Dropping our hands. So we're going to bend our elbows up towards our face again. We're going to pull down towards our right. So if we're facing our right corner, right hand becomes the ball we're gonna hide the right hand reveal the right hand and pull up to our corner but still drop that shoulder elbows always slightly bent even a little bit okay again same side circling up towards our cheeks pulling down right close our right hand Cover the right, reveal the right, pulling up. Now with our left hand, we're going to scoop up towards our right arm, circle out towards our left corner. So we have these two directions, one corner, the opposite corner. And drop our hand. So other side before we add our legs. Palms so are circling up towards our face, turning left, pulling down. So if we're facing our left side, left hand becomes that ball, closing our left. Cover that hand, reveal that hand. Pulling up our left, okay, drop the shoulder, elbows bent. And down again. So circling towards our face or chin, pulling down left, close our left, cover the left, reveal the left, pulling out to our corner. Now our right hand, scooping up towards the left arm, circle, open out towards our right corner. Relax. So both of our arms are in front of the body not stretching, not pulling back. So if we were to drop the arms, they would swing in front. So if we drop the arms and they hit the sides of our body, the arms are too far back. We're creating too much tension, too much muscular tension. So keep the hands in front, hands fold in front, okay? So right side, circle up, Pull down to our right, close our right hand, circle over, pulling in front, and up. Scoop with our left, open to our left, relax, drop those shoulders, back to our face, pull down to our left, close our left hand, cover, reveal, pulling up. Scoop with our right, open to our right, and relax or uh, sink those elbows. So the elbows help to keep the shoulders down. 
So if we straighten the elbows, by default, the shoulders rise. Elbows, keep those shoulders down. Okay, so we're gonna add our stepping, our legs. So our legs we know. So, inhale, left. Exhale, right, down. So facing our right, close our right hand, cover, reveal, oh, or pull up with our left. So here, we're gonna step to our left corner, scoop up with our left, open to our left, and we're gonna sit down a little bit. If we remember in our beginning, this half horse. So our left leg is carrying a little more weight than the back leg, but we're sitting down, so both legs are carrying weight. Okay, now open our hands. We're gonna sit back to circle, shift forward, feet together. We're facing our left corner. Grab our left hand, cover the left, reveal the left, pull up to our left, step to our right corner, scooping up, shifting right, open to our right, sit down in the middle roughly, but half four stats, more on the right, a little bit less in the left, back, open the hands, forward, and down. Close our right, cover, reveal, pulling up, stepping left, scooping up, circle out to our left, and sit down, keeping our body upright, drop shoulders, bend those elbows, back, and forward. So from here, we're just gonna drop our hands for now. Step back right, together, back left, together, back right, and to our middle. Good. Now, starting on our left. So circling up, pulling down to our left. So grab our left. Cover the left, reveal the left, pulling up. Step to our right corner, circle our right, open to our right, sit down in our middle. Open the hands, back, forward, and pull down. Grab the right, cover the right, reveal the right, pull it up. Step left, circle with our left, out to our corner, sit down, like we're resting on top of something. Rest the arms like a paperweight on top. Rest, rest, one more, back right, pulling left and down. Left hand closes, cover the left, reveal the left, Pull it up, step right, circle our right, out to our right, sit down or rest on top. Back to go forward. Now if we think of uh, holding the ball, we're gonna step back with our left, bring the ball. Back to our right, switch our hands automatically, bring the ball. Back to our left. Back to center. To our middle. Drop our hands. So now settle to our right leg. Left toes touch forward. And close. Settle to our left leg. Feet together. Right toes touch. And close. Settle right together. Touch our left in front and close. Settle left together. Touch our right in front. 
Now if we walk this way, settle right, left toes, touch, close, now left together, touch our right, and close, right together, touch our left, and close. If we step back, back left, still able to touch or move that right leg. So one leg carries weight, one leg can move, or this is empty leg, as much as we can, as much as we can. So put as much weight as we need to, to maintain our balance and stability. But I want to be able to move one more than the other. Okay, so moving one, and close. Step back left, moving one, touch, together. So adding our arms, each side of body. So if we drop our right hand, shift to our left, pressing down, right toes, touch. So right arm and leg in line, fingers pointing up, toes pointing down, left hand, left palm is pressing down. So to our side, settle down right, press down our right, touch our left, toe, together, down left. Touch our right, toe, together. So if we walk this way, settle right, touching our left, close, step to our corner, left corner, settle down left, touch our right, and close. Think of tiptoe walking. Step to our right co uh, corner, settle down right, tiptoe, touch together. Maybe we have uh, room for one more step, perhaps. Step left to corner, settle down left, touch our right toe. Okay, so we'll come back same way. So stepping back to our right, pressing down right, left foot moves, still able to move, our touch, and close. Step back left, settle, right leg move and touch. One more time. Step back right and down. Left leg moves. Toes. Touch. And together. Separate our feet. Hands down. So similar type of uh, stepping practice. Uh, we're going to add some different walking. So settling down to start. So we're going to shift to our right again together and step to our corner left to our corner shift forward now here both legs are carrying weight so now we're going to sit back shift forward from here from our right toes touching behind in front together step back so same side shifting forward pick up our heel Pull our toes, touch, in front and back, settle. So here, left, pull our toes, touch, close. Now step into our right corner, first settle down, both legs carrying weight, sit back, so ready to go forward. Shift forward, right, pull our toes, touch our toes, back, to our left, sitting back, to go forward, pull toes, touch toe, back, good, again, forward, pull toe, touch toes, back, now stepping back, left together, stepping back, right together, good, and open our feet. So adding our arms to the step, we're still connecting our right arm and leg, left arm and leg, so similar to this exercise. This right arm and leg, this left arm and leg. So they're still gonna move together. So settle to our right, so starting with the same side, step to our left corner, shifting forward, 
Now sit back. Now our right arm and leg. Think pulling forward together, pulling our toes, touching our toes, pointing our fingers, so reaching down in the direction of that touching leg. Back together, forward. They move together. Back right, arm and leg, forward with our right touch and close our feet, stepping to our right corner, shifting, settling down, shifting forward, left arm and leg. Now here, ready, left side, arm and leg, so place the body forward, left arm and leg, pull in, pull toes, touch toes, back to our left. So pointing our toes, pointing our fingers, toes, fingers, reaching down, back, behind. One more time. Forward, together, in front, back, behind, stepping back to our corners, back to our middle. So we're going to go back to our very beginning exercise and we're going to apply this to this new movement. So in our beginning, we had this circle. Circle in top right or top left to bottom. We had this top, turning our wrists and palms in the direction of our hips or waist. Okay, so now we're going to shift to our right, circling top together. Step to our left corner. So this is how we originally practiced, both arms following the same leg left leg, pulling up, pushing down. So now we're gonna connect left arm and leg and right arm and leg. So same circle at the top. Left arm and leg in front, right arm and leg in back. So we have our front side, back side. So up right, down left. So left arm in front, right arm and leg. Pull our toes, touch our toes. Reaching for something. And close. Opposite side before we add. So arms up to our left corner, step to our right corner. So again, our beginning. So we just get these mechanics. Up left. Down right. So now leave this left arm. Take just the right. So right arm and leg, left arm and leg is in back. Up left. Down right. Now left arm and leg. Pull our toes. Touch our toes. And reaching down or forward. And together. So let's come back. Starting again to our right. So circle top right. Stepping left. So left arms in front, right arms in back, right toes, touch. And close. Up to our left corner. Step to our right. So right arms in front, left arms in back. Settle down, touch, reach, and close. Back, together, back, together. Separate our feet. So now just the upper half of our body, what we're gonna add with our arms and hands. So just thinking of the arms, just of the arms. So we're gonna circle up with our right, down to our left. Now when we reach, we're going to reach underneath our front hand. Front hand. Grab. So closing that right. Pulling up. So here. Reach. Grab. Open the hand. Pull up. 
place down in our palm. So bend the elbow, place. Circling up to our left, we'll practice both sides. So right arms in front, left arms in back. Now as we reach, reach under, almost as if we're checking our pulse. Reach under, grab, open the palm. Pulling up, bend the elbow. Placing down into the palm. Again, bend. Bring down, right, now left, reaching under, grab, pulling up, place into palm, lifting up left, circle down right, reach under our hand, grab, pulling up, and hand into palm. So here we go with our stepping. So we're going to circle starting to our right again, top right. Step to our left corner. So left arms in front, right arms in back. So as we shift forward, right hand under. Grab our right, pull up. Now as we bend the elbow, we're going to bend our knee and come back to our middle. Place our hand into our palm, in our center, in our center. Other side, now shifting to our left, pull up, step to our right corner, and now right sides in front, left sides in back, left arm and leg, pull in, touch our toes, reach under, grab, pull up, bend the elbow, bring the leg to our middle and down into our palm, into palm and lower. So let's try that again. Come back, settle, maintaining our posture. So no matter which direction we're walking, not back and forth. Head up, controlling the legs, the hips, up to head. So starting to our right, upright together. Stepping left, down in our front, right hand under and touch. Grab our right, pulling up to our middle and into palm. Open the hands, circle left together. Step to our right corner, circle down right in front, left and back. Left side, reaching under, touch, grab our left, pulling up to our middle, fist into palm, and settle. So stepping back to our corner, back to our corner. Good. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Okay, so movements we've done. So as a refresher, as a refresher. So the movement we just did, we'll start here. So starting to our right, circle upright. Down left. Left sides in front, right sides in back. Reach under, point, grab. Pulling up to our middle and hand into palm to our left. Circle up left, down right, in front, left arm and leg, forward, reaching under, grab, pulling up or bend to our middle and down. Settle, walking back to corner, to corner. Both palms up, so bending our elbows, starting to our right again. So circle up towards our cheeks, 
pulling down right. So close our right hand, cover the right, reveal the right, pulling up. Step to our left corner, circle with our left. Open left. Sit down. Back right. Pull it. Down left. Pull down. Close our left hand. Cover the left. Reveal the left. Pull it up. Step to our right. Circle our right. Open to our right. Sit down. So on top of that horse. Down. Back left. Forward right. Grab the right. Circle in front. Under. Pull. Step to our left. One more time. Scooping up. Open left. And settle down. Back. Forward. Now holding the ball. Back to our right. Together. Back to our left. Together. Back right. Together. To our middle. And low. Shake out the hands. Shake out the arms. Good. Let go. Dropping our tension. Letting it go. Dropping it down. We're going to shake out our legs a little bit. So again, still maintaining our posture. If we settle to our right, don't lean over to the right. Settle to the right. So body straight and settle. Shake out the left. Body straight as we settle. Shake out the right. So settle right. Shake. Settle left. Shake. So we're going to cross our hands. Now shaking out the arms. But we're going to throw the hands down towards our corner. So bend the elbows. So relax. Throw the hands. Let them shake. So loose. Loose. Cross the hands. Throw. Inhale to cross. Exhale. Release. Throw. Breathe in. Release. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to add the waist a little bit. Not too rough. So as we close or cross, turn slightly left. Using a waist. So turning left. Throw. Cross the hands. So here we're turning left. Sorry. Releasing right. Throw. Inhale. Then winding up. Exhale. Release. Breathe in. Winding up. Exhale. Release. Breathe in right. Release. Inhale left. One more. Exhale. Release. Uh, we'll try arms and legs. Settle. Again, maintain our posture. Hands and feet. We're going to throw down. And settle. Not lifting high. Not holding long. Pulling in together. Throw. Settle down. Settle right together. Throw. And down. Settle left. Cross our hands. Throw. Open. One more each side. So right together. Throw left. Left together. Throw right. And down. Inhale. So calming down. Exhale. And release. Heat our hands. So massaging our legs, settling again to our right leg, left foot towards our corner, so sitting back, massaging our front knee. So sitting back, so both legs are carrying weight, but more in the back leg. So watch how much we're bending our knee, or we can sit to massage. So from our knee, above our knee, so massaging our thigh. And below through our calf and shin. And 
and switch. So feet together, switching sides, settling left, right foot to our corner, prepare our hands, heat to hand, heat to our knee. So massage rub all around the knee as much as we can reach, what we can get to, above to our thigh, all around the leg, the back of the thigh, the hamstrings, and massage. Below the knee, our calf and shin, if we reach the ankle, all depends on what we reach. And we'll come up to our middle. Now, massaging our lower back. So first, starting with our lower back. Massage again, like our beginning. Apply some pressure. And tap. Tap the back. So stimulate the back or the kidney. So now from the back, we're going to move down. So now palms to our back, keeping our knees straight. So stretching down a little bit. So only uh, bend down as far as we're comfortable. We don't have to reach down to the floor or down to our feet, but keep the knees as straight as you can, moving up and down slowly. So inhale as we're standing up straight. Exhale, sliding down the back of our legs. So we can stop at our knees. We can go down to our calves, or our ankles, or our heels. Palms in front. Inhale, slide the hands up the front of our legs. So go down towards your limit, and then change direction and come back up the body. So inhaling up and back. Exhaling down and forward. So to your level, then change your direction. Inhale, slide the hands up in front. Make sure we're moving slow, both directions. Up slow. Exhale, down slow. So our breathing is slow along with our movement. Inhaling up. So grab our upper back, squeeze and pull down. Grab and pull. Again, grab tension, pull tension and tap. Other side, squeeze and pull without tilting the head or pulling the neck. So as much as we reach is enough. So grab what we reach, pull, tap what we reach, and slow down. Moving up, so fingertips to our head, tap all over our head. So stimulate the body, all the acupuncture points around our head, our scalp, to our ears, index fingers, massage the ears, inside of our ears, more acupuncture points. So we're working on our whole body this way. Wrap from our top, pull down, pinch the ears, massage the ears. Top to bottom and pull. Drop our hands, three circles. Inhale, circling up. Exhale, washing down. Breathe in, towards the bottom. Release, washing or lowering down. So remember, bring our palms, bring our mind, our attention from our forehead. Down to our neck, our heart, our belly, our hips, our legs. So always bringing our mind. So thank you for joining me for our practice today. I hope you enjoy what we've practiced, some different things today, some, uh, some uh, Chen style movements we've worked on today. So uh, practice what we remember. It doesn't matter if it's one movement or two movements or just loosening up the body, but something each day, practice or work on our health. So it's important to work on our health, uh, especially now 
but always work on our health. So that's what's important. That's what keeps us here. So thank you again. Have a wonderful week, and we'll practice together next time. Thank you.